Listen up, maggots. Relax, dude. This is wood tube. There are civilians out there. Welcome, woodpeckers. Martin Jensen here. Hoi! Quartermaster Jensen here. And today we're carving out the emblem of the mine diving commandos of Norway. We are an elite group of EOD and IED operators working on land and sea. Think of us as the bomb squad. Oh, get down! <coughs> Oof, I hope that took care of him. The emblem is of a mine and some fins, representing what the commanders was supposed to be doing in around 1968. Blow stuff up in the sea. After the years went by, the challenges grew, situation changed and the commandos changed with it. The emblem stayed the same. Today they are known as the Norwegian Navy's multi-tool. And I will make the emblem and fill it up with my coins of past memories. There will also be a trailer of the service later on, so stick with it. Well, I already started cheating because yesterday I glued together uh, two pieces of uh, 3 by 10 put them together and now I'm sanding it down. Have you seen the eyes? Have you heard the cry of pain? Have you felt the aching hunger? Let's talk shop. Our main objective is to clear mines and other explosives so ships can maneuver safely at sea. We are professionals that cover all disciplines of EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal in a Maritime Environment. Take a look at this footage. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me
gotta tell you a story about this uh, archaeologist who's looking for a meteorite out there. He was raking the bottom for grass and he was spending so much time on it and I thought that is gonna help him out. So I drew him a nice drawing about how it's done and a couple of weeks later he came back and boom put up a perfect search grid from the top. I wonder what it looks like underneath, but he's gonna die there in a couple of weeks, so we'll see. Kind of thirsty there, bro. Brew? Oh, you're back. I don't mind if I do. Cheers. Cheers. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Pay up, boy. You just got knocked. I'm throwing up the coin. One second, bro. There you go. God damn it. It's damn hard getting rid of that guy. So do land-based operations and go through training that gives us the knowledge needed to get out of a tight spot. This is where IED, improvised explosive device and weapons training is needed. Working both land and sea makes the job more interesting, but also a lot more demanding. There is also other top secret stuff we do, but that is not for YouTubers out there. If you're interested in the service, go to the description and you'll find the link there.
Wow, what an adventure. Woodworking is like EOD in a way. One mistake and the consequences might be irreversible. I loved this build and I got to reconnect with some ghosts from the past and I was finally able to get the coins out of the drawer and onto a place where I can see it. The coins are part of the secret society of uh, special operators around the world. Shh, don't tell anyone. In the US I was once able to dodge a speeding ticket because I was in uniform and a part of this group. Luck also had a play in it, but without the combinations of operators on a mission and a cool cop, I for sure would have had to pay. My thanks to the police officer in California. As with other things in life, we are at an end here. I hope you learned something about the service or woodworking. My thanks to MDK for providing the military footage. And if you enjoyed the experience, thumbs up to support my channel and our soldiers are much appreciated. And on that bombshell, what? What's that sound? Damn.